What's up Skrulis and welcome back to the Apple Spot and in this video we're going to be seeing that how we guys can get CS2 on our Mac Silicon devices. So let's begin with the video itself. So the very first thing you have to just go to your Safari and you have to write developer Apple download all. So you have to just go to the search section and you have to write command line tool for Xcode 15. So once you are over here, please make sure you don't download any sort of beta version. Just go to the view details and just download this and it will start automatically. As I have downloaded it already, so I'll be not downloading this. Once you are done with this, then you have to write game porting kit. Here it is. It is the beta 4. Again, you have to go for the view details and you have to download this game porting toolkit 1. So once you are done with the downloading these two things, then you have to just install the command line And you are good to go with the installation of the command line toolkit. So once you are done with the installation of the command line toolkit, you have to just open a new terminal window. Once you're over here, so just paste the first command which I have provided in the description and make sure you do all the steps properly. So once you paste the command, just hit enter and it will ask to type A to agree. Just type A and click enter and it will start installing. Once this is complete, so just paste the second command and hit enter. So once you're done with the second command, so just paste the third command and make sure you paste this command very correctly and it will start installing the homebrew. So once you're done with the installation of the homebrew, you have to just check the path of the homebrews. To check that path, you have to just write which brew and you'll be seeing this path. So make sure your path should be look like this. Once you're done with this, you have to install the toolkit. Next step, you have to just copy the fourth command and just hit enter and the fifth command as well. So once you're entering the fifth command, you will be seeing an installation process. On my screen, it's not showing because it is already installed in my laptop. So just be patient with the process because it might take from half an hour to two hours to complete the whole process. So be patient. Just keep your laptop on charging and it will happen automatically. So once you are done with the process, then you have to just paste the sixth command. So this will be creating a wine for Windows 10. So once the pop up came, so you have to just go to here and click on Windows 10 on the Windows version. Click apply and OK and you are good to go with this thing. So once you are done with this, again, you have to just go to the game porting toolkit. Just open it and install it. And you will be seeing this over here and just come here and paste the seventh command and the eighth command over here. So once you are done with this, so now finally we can be able to install the Steam on our MacBook. So just download the Windows version of the Steam. Once we have been done with the installation of the Windows Steam, we are not done with the terminal part. So just paste the next command, hit enter. Click OK and you'll be getting a Steam setup. Click Next, keep it English, install and it will start installing. Finish and you're good to go to run the Steam. So there's a thing in between if accidentally you just terminate any of the terminal command in between. So you have to just open the terminal once again and you have to just write this the first command after the Rosetta installation. Once you're here, and you are good to go again with the process. So let's just paste those three commands to trick the wine. And you are good to go. Once you are done with this, now you are able to open your Steam up. So to open Steam, every time you need to put this command on the terminal and your Steam application will be open. And putting this command every time on the terminal, it's a big hustle to do. So we'll be automating this step as well. So just stay tuned with the video. So if you are facing any sort of issue while opening up the Steam, so just terminate this, quit and reopen the terminal command and just paste this command. So I have provided two commands in the description. If the first one is not working, so run the second one and your Steam will be open like this. So every time you just want to open up the Steam, you have to just run this command. So just log in with your credentials and you're good to go. So once we are done with the installation of the Steam, so let's just automate the Steam opening process. So we'll be doing this thing by the built-in app of the Mac OS, which is the automator. Just open this thing up, click on the new document and uh, click on application and click choose, go down. And you have to find over here a run a cell script just remove click ok just remove the cat word and just paste the command which i have provided in the description so here's the command if you want to see an fps and other things in your game so you can just change the metal hud enable to one 
I'm keeping it zero for now. Press command S to save this and uh, choose the application over here and give a name and just press save. So once you are done with this, you can just exit this thing up and now you can see there is an app called Steam Windows over here. So if you'll just double click this thing, you'll see a loading screen over here that it's running up the script and you're good to go again. So here's the Windows version of the Steam on your Mac OS silicon devices. Now you can go to the library. So once all the process has been completed, now you can install the Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which is of 63 GB. And once you are done with the download, you will be able to play CS2 on your Mac OS silicon devices without using any windows. So that's how you can install CS2 on your Mac OS. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. If you got any sort of query, you can just comment it down. I'll try to get back with that thing. Thank you for watching. Peace out.